Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. So today we're going to be looking at using Canvas apps to upload multiple files and file types to our Azure blob storage. Now what do we need to actually achieve this then? Well firstly we need our Azure blob storage which we're going to be storing our files on. We then need a SharePoint list and I'll go through this in a moment as you can see there's an asterisk by there because they is a need for a SharePoint list, but um, we don't actually use it overall. And then we're going to need our Canvas app. Now, why do we need a SharePoint list then? Well, if you haven't seen before, there is a way of getting the attachments component out of a SharePoint list form so that we can actually use our attachments upload component on our own, completely away from SharePoint. And we're going to be using this in our example today and I'll show you how to do that. There are plenty of other videos which uh, people have uh, created, but I'll show you how to do that today just so that we're all on the same level. Now, if you don't actually have a connection to SharePoint to be able to do this, you don't actually have your own SharePoint list or anything like that, don't worry, I'll upload the example that we create today so you can actually copy this component and reuse it. So let's actually create our Canvas app now then. Okay, so I've created a Canvas app and I have two screens. I've got an example screen, so we're gonna actually walk through what we're actually looking to achieve today. And then I've got a new build screen where we're actually gonna go through and build that. Okay, so let me actually walk you through the example then. You can see here we've got an attachments component. It's not inside a form or anything like that. And you, from here you can select multiple different file types and attach files as you see fit. Then we've got an upload button here. When you select that, it cycles through all of the attached files. It then creates each file with a GUID name in front and attaches the record name at the end and then passes up the actual file to the Azure blob storage in the files folder in my Azure blob storage container. And then what we do is we reset the uploads attachment to remove any attachments that have been pre-selected so that they don't get uploaded again when we hit the upload files button. So let's actually take a look at this example then. So as you can see here, I've got my attach file component. If I click on that, I can select a document. I can then select a PDF and I can select a image file. So you can see that they're all shown, it all looks great. So if I press upload files now, what's going to happen is that's going to cycle through each of those and then it's going to send it to the Azure blob storage. And you can see now it's been reset. So let's actually go take a look at the folder on our Azure blob storage. So as you can see, I'm in the files container. I've just hit refresh and here are our three files. We've got the GUID at the start and then the file name at the end, just so that we don't replace or any, get any conflicting upload issues. Okay, so that is the example. Let's go back to our application and let's start the new build. Right, so what we're gonna do first then is we're gonna actually get the attachments component to be on our screen. Now to do this, we need to have the insert selected and we click on forms and then we just connect to a data source which is our SharePoint list and then we have our attachment section here so if we select the actual attachments box and click copy we can then delete the form and paste into here and now we have our attachments component but we have some issues so if we click on edit you can see we have border color changes we don't really care about that we have items, let's just leave that as blank. We have tooltip, don't care about that. And then we have the display mode. Now the display mode does matter because it has to be display mode edit so that we can actually uh, interact with the component. And now we have our component on here. What we then need to do is we actually need to be able to select any files that get attached here and upload it to the Azure blob storage. So let's actually take a look at that next. So the first thing we should probably do is rename this to a new upload attachments. 
then we'll just make it a bit smaller to make it a bit more prettier and we'll drag it into the center of the screen cool then let's select this button here which we've already pre-created it's just um, a label an image and an actual button and let's go to the on select section here now we're going to be using the Azure blob storage um, function and if you haven't done so already what you need to do is you need to go to your data sources and add a Azure blob storage connector which you will then be able to select the account that you've set up you need to make sure you've got this or the Azure blob storage function won't work okay so now we've got our button selected and we are on the on select what we want to do is we want to use a for all function now why do we want to use for all because for all will cycle through each of the particular items in the resource that we actually um, give it so we're going to be giving it the um, attachment component so for each attachment in that component we're going to cycle through each one of them and create a blob storage file that we're uploading so what we're going to do then is we're going to say new upload attachments and then we're going to then use the full stop to then obviously give us access to the other features of the new upload attachments and we're going to select attachments because we want to go through every single attachment that has been uploaded. Then what we want to do is we want to use the Azure blob storage function and we want to create a file and then what we want to do is we want to pass in the um, folder that we're actually going to be using so mine is files and then using that we're going to actually want to use a GUID because the same file may be uploaded multiple times over the course of different days there may be changes and if we wanted to actually have a record of our previous uploads we want to have a unique identifier for these so let's use the concatenate uh, function and we're going to pass in the GUID so let's just actually make this text and then we pass in the GUID and then we close off our text close off our concat closed off our Azure uh, blob storage and then closed off our for all loop so let's go back to here we've got our text of GUID then we want a separator with just an underscore and then we want to actually pass this file name through so obviously I said we're going through every single attachment so for this record, so we say this record, we want the name of the file to be added on to the end of the naming convention that we're using. And then we are going to use this record again and actually pass the file, which is value. Okay, so that is it. That is all you need to do to be able to cycle through every file that we've attached and upload them to a specific location in the Azure blob storage with a GUID function. Now I've just seen that I've not actually done that correctly so let me just change that. So what I did there was I've just added the parenthesis at the end of the text because for some reason I added it on the end. Right so that is the functionality for us to upload our files but we want to make sure we reset the um, new upload attachments because if we don't then the files that have been attached previously will continuously remain there and any more other attachments will have to be uh, added and removed manually and we obviously don't want to just continuously do that so let's add the reset so now we have a working version that we've just created. Let's actually see it in action then. So let's go to our files storage container and just delete everything. Uh, yep, we want to get rid of everything. 
So now it's empty. You can see there's nothing in there. Let's go back to here. And we're on our new build. Let's actually attach some files. So we've got the example doc, we've got the uh, PDF, and we've got the image. And then let's press upload. So now what that's doing is it's adding the GUID to the front of the file name as well as it's using the underscore. It's then uploading each one of them with the for all loop. So it's going via the doc, the PDF, then the image. And then once that's completed, it's then resetting this attachments component. So let's actually see if they've been uploaded. And there you can see we've actually uploaded multiple attachments in one go, allowing a user to upload multiple PDFs, multiple documents, multiple images in one single click. And that is how you attach and upload multiple files using a Canvas app to the Azure Blob Storage. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.